and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to paint a Volkswagen Beetle. I already did two and this is the reference picture and this car is uh, well partially overgrown with uh, bushes and uh, little twigs and stuff and it's standing right in front of a uh, little shed and what I did actually was I've drawn in or I splashed in uh, some paint, some watercolor paint. And then I took that, uh, it's called effect salt. It's very big grain salt, nothing more, nothing less. And I dropped that in the wet paint. And then I let it dry for a complete day. And now it's time to uh, remove those little salts and what it leaves is a nice effect to start my, uh, my painting on. Now for the setup I'm using the Tombow Jewel Brush and uh, that's a water-based brush pen and I simply use that because uh, it will, uh, well, dissolve again in water and I've picked a, uh, a light gray, a warm gray and this will allow me to lay out uh, the, the, the whole of the little Volkswagen Beetle and this Beetle is uh, sitting in the front yard it's a very old car and I love it I start with drawing in the hood and then uh, uh, the hood of uh, the top of the roof and then the hood of the motor and um, well in my uh, in my own country in the Netherlands I also uh, well, give some tutorials every week people can draw along and of course you can find me on uh, on patreon but what you can see here is that the effect salt has um, uh, bringing me some structure uh, that's also uh, giving me some kind of the feel of plants going on there on the bottom of the car. So the effect salt is, is really really neat to use in this case for that very very old Volkswagen Beetle. So I kind of follow the structure that I've created and the hood of the car I simply, uh, one, when the paint was still wet I just uh, dipped the, the, the paper towel because I knew already where about that hood was going to be. Uh, this is the, uh, the mirror the look back mirror I want to put that in of course and I've also drawn in the old shed behind the uh, Volkswagen Beetle and there are plants too growing up and to our tutorial the complete recording all uh, well drawn and painted one-on-one -on -one, you can find on my patreon page now I'm not sticking exactly to the uh, reference picture because here I'm drawing in some steps and I just love them and then uh, as, the, as I go move towards uh, downwards the drawing I simply put in some lines for some pavement going on to bring uh, some extra perspective in and uh, these are the planks that are upon the house way in the back and I also draw in by imagination uh, the front door and they are supposed around the front door and then uh, here all the way deep down I draw in the actual door and there's a doorknob there for instance here so uh, that's also a little bit by imagination. I'm just drawing that in uh, because uh, it felt nice for my composition. 
Uh, the sun is coming from above, so I also draw in a little bit of um, shadow, casted shadow, underneath those planks. And this also brings me a little bit of perspective and a little bit of shadow here and there. And in the reference picture, the shed behind the car uh, also has uh, horizontal planks. But I've decided to draw in a brick wall because I thought that would look nicer in this case because we have uh, we are dealing with a very old car which is sitting in the front yard <coughs> in the front garden so I thought well maybe I can uh, draw in that shed uh, like uh, some kind of a carport or something which is also a little bit older and I'm simply uh, drawing in some uh, separate stones stone by stone and that uh, brings me that lovely brick effect now it's time for the gouache because this is mixed media this is watercolor paint and the gouache paint and brush pan and fine liner it's all uh, coming together here and I love working with mixed media so I simply have one tube of um, white gouache and I simply mix that uh, or I use it pure to bring in a little bit of sunlight and to make the roof a little bit lighter I simply pick up some tiles and I put in the gouache paint and you'll have to watch carefully now because slowly but gradually the paint will soak into the paper and it will not dry up as white as when I apply it so I just lay it on top of the watercolor initial splash and then it slowly soaks into the paper and it absorbs the pigments of the layer of uh, burnt sienna underneath. And also here I point, I, I, I paint in the white gouache brick by brick. And in that way I'm also creating that uh, great effect. And you can see it now on top of the roof uh, the gouache is soaking in so if I want bricks to be really really white I will have to use uh, a few layers of white gouache and then they will stay white but if I only put in one layer of gouache white gouache then it's uh, well it dries up a little bit darker now for the bushes that are covering the Volkswagen Beetle I also apply a little bit of the white gouache and maybe the bushes in the back have uh, little white flowers and in the front maybe I will apply a little bit of colored uh, flowers and I also mix the green watercolor paint with the white gouache and in that way I can create some green leaves that are slowly covering that vehicle. So uh, this together brings a lovely effect. It's, it's very, um, well, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a sweet effect and I'm trying to keep notice of where the light is coming from <coughs> and the sun is shining from above in this case and uh, so partially the leaves will appear more light green and um, I also uh, try to mix up the white and the greens together now here I'm mixing a little bit of blue with the white gouache because the sky is reflected partially <coughs> partially in uh, the the in the 
<clears throat> in the windows of the car and I also put it in here a little bit in the front window but for the lower part of um, of the car itself uh, this is the side door and I want the car to be blue but way below uh, there's a lot of shadow so here I apply uh, the blue without the white gouache and then as I move upwards where the Sun is shining I simply start to put in a little bit of gouache white gouache again and that brings me the, the effect of a very old paint that's on the hood of the car and here on the side of the car I simply use a little bit uh, well mid blue if you want here the paint is still a little bit intact maybe but the hood of the car is really damaged by the Sun and by the rain and the hail so um, the hood of the car should be uh, really damaged damaged looking now we can also look inside the car of course a little bit and the roof of the car of course uh, costs a big shadow and these are the windscreen wipers I've drawn those in too and the back seat of the car <coughs> and I also use uh, a little bit of a darker brush pen to put in some shadows in between the leaves of the bushes uh, that are covering that Volkswagen Beetle. Now here I have some uh, fluor colored uh, pens. They're used for children but I use them now and then to make something pop out all of a sudden. You can also use uh, markers or something and in that way I want to bring in some color in uh, the little reflector but also in the flowers in front of us. And then it's time and here I'm just making a petal of blue just a mixture of all kinds of blue and I splatter that down on the pavement to get that splashy effect and give it that old uh, fancy look I just love it <clears throat> and of course also we have the bumper which is very rusty so I simply use a little bit of red and a little bit of ochre and I also apply that on the hood of the car to get some rust going on there and then uh, well my car is finished I hope you enjoyed this video I sure did I loved it and uh, maybe you want to check it out on my patreon page you can see the whole tutorial if you would like so thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon